G'day and welcome to Ducks Ollie Gaming and another mod review. Today we'll be reviewing the Class Axion 800, Axion 900 and the Zerion 5000 series tractors. We'll be right back to get into the review right after this short message. So let's get straight in. We've got a lot of things to talk about. So we'll go straight over here and we'll talk about our class Axion 800 series tractors. I've gone and got all the different options that are available, which we'll go through shortly in the store. Um, but just as a very quick view, you can see you've got standard wheels, we've got twin wheels, we've got wide wheels, <coughs> we've also got chrome and black finishes. Um, plus a whole pile of other little options. Okay, look nice. So we'll head straight over into the store. Go over here to tractors, class Axion 800. So it starts out at $187,000. Starts with a 151 kilowatt engine. However, there's seven versions of that which we'll get to shortly. Uh, 700 liters of fuel, 50 kilometers an hour top speed, uh, and $220 a day in maintenance very important when you're running your seasons. So we go into the details. So as I said before just briefly there's seven different engines for this tractor. So we start off with the 800 Iveco FPT NEF6 mouthful in its own which is 151 kilowatt or 205 horsepower and then we progress up through to the 870, which is a 217 kilowatt, 295 horsepower engine. We then have obviously the main colour. There's three main colours to choose for this. The nice class green, which is my personal preference, the black and the white. Wheel setups. There are four different wheel setups or tyre setups for this tractor. Standard, wheel weights, wide tyres and the twin wheels. All fairly basic as we've had in most other tractors previously. Rim colour, again only three choices available, the red, black and the light grey, uh, which is all to do with their native colour scheme. And the design, you have either black parts or chrome parts. And that's basically it for the class 800 in relation to its details. So we'll head back out here. Okay, so we'll just go over here and we'll have a look. Now, one of the things I have noticed with a couple of these uh, models is when driving and not in the cab, you tend to notice sometimes that the front, I'm just not going to make a lie on me today, but the front tyre sometimes will not rotate. It might actually be the 800 that does it, but anyway, 900 I mean. In any case, so heard the engine we won't have that anymore so we'll go on the side of the cab now it does have some um, in cab features so we hold our space button down so we can open up the left door open up the right door we can lower and raise our steering wheel um, and we can turn on our GPS computer and that is about it for this oh no, sorry and we can open up the rear the rear window as well Okay, nothing at the top. Oh, what was this at the top? Sorry. There we go, got a sunroof. Didn't notice that myself. Which you can raise. Not bad. Okay. Alright. So, that's it for that. I'll give the actual score for this one a little bit later, but not a bad little tractor. Um, these three versions have actually taken my preference now to all other tractors. I'm using these exclusively pretty much in my gaming. Uh, just because I like the look of them. I think it's uh, a nice change up. And so, okay, we move over now to the Class Action 900. Now, both the 800 and the 900 models are available in the uh, in game mod hub or obviously the Giants website. They are both produced by a mod author of Smetty. 
uh, CMT modding, I think it might be, but um, he's the one that's uploaded them. So uh, good job for these. As you can see, again, I've got a, all different variants that are available to us. Um, again, similar to the 800, the 900s have uh, various tyre configurations, four different engines and basic design options. So again, we'll head into the store. 900, here we go. Start off with the 920 engine, which is a 235 kilowatt, 320 horsepower, $320 maintenance a day, 700 litre fuel tank, same as 800, 30 kilometres an hour. And we can go up through to the 950 engine, which is a 302 kilowatt, 410 horsepower. So we've got a range of 310 to 410, 320 to 410 horsepower capability with these, the, this series. Again, main colours, three colours for the main colour of the tractor and three colours for the rims. Wheel set up, standard wheel weights, wide tyres, twin wheels, or same as the, uh, the 800, and black and chrome, again, similar to the 800. So just a slightly bigger version than the 800. Uh, looks very similar, but uh, gives that just a little bit extra horsepower. So we'll head on over here to our dual wheel monster and we'll hop in. Again, good looking renders on the models. Very happy with that. Again, drive control is featured. I'm should be pretty much exactly the same as the 800. We've got sunroof. Yes, there you go. So I've learned something today. Computer, GPS, and the rear window. There we go. Again, not a bad little model. Don't mind this one at all. All right. Nothing like getting through them nice and quick. So, as you can see, all lined up, they look quite nice. Anyway, so over to what has now become one of my favourite tractors. We'll do a bit of a run over here. And this is the Class Zerion 4000-5000 series tractors. You will notice on this one, I've got the, uh, the hood up on this one, uh, which we'll get to shortly. But again, these are a great tractor. These are a four-wheel steering unit. They will steer four-wheel... Uh, crab left, crab right, and uh, just front wheel steering. Okay, that's all changed with the control Y key configuration. Okay, so we'll go straight into this one over here. No, we won't. We'll go to the shop first. Okay, in the tractors and the class Serion. $330,000 for our tractor to buy for stock standard. Now you will notice down here, tractors are required to pull trailers and tools, which is normal. This vehicle is equipped with, with, with sorry, this vehicle is equipped with reverse drive control, and the Zerion has crab steering, as I just mentioned to you. So we'll go to the reverse drive control a little bit later. There's a funky little thing they've done with this one. Okay, so the Zerion 4000 to 5000 series. This mod is actually done by Extreme BB Mods, and I reckon they've done an absolutely fantastic job of this. Okay, so let's get into it. Attaches, hydraulic, no hydraulic. Engine setup. Okay, there's, uh, what have we got? Four different engines. The Zerion 4000, which starts at 308 kilowatt or 419 horsepower, and that goes all the way up to the Zerion 5000 chipped which is a 600 horsepower or 441 kilowatt behemoth. However, look at that maintenance a day, 840 a day. Okay, so you want to use this, you want to have some money to back yourself up, especially in your seasons, because it's going to run you nice and quick. Wheel setup, not much different to the others. There is one new inclusion in this though. Standard, wide, Michelin, narrow twin wheels and twin wheels. Okay, rim colour. Full colour spread available for the wheel, for the rims. Design. Now, you will notice there is no colour, main colour for the tractor. The reason why, down here under design, we have a basic design. We then have grill. Then have black. Black version 2. Red. Red version 2. White. White version 2. And you get the, get the idea. So those versions, eight different versions are available through there. 
Okay, let's hop back out. So we'll just have a look at the versions as we're out here. So this is one of the red versions. I don't know which one was which. We have the two black versions. Okay. We then have our basic design. Uh, and with the grill, I think this one here is the one with the grill. And that one is the basic. We then have our white V1 and V2. And that's our secondary red one. Oh, look at that cab. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So we'll go in this one here for a minute. And we'll have a look inside the cab. Alright, if I bring this up here. Um, all wheel steering, as I said to you before. So control Y, wheel control. Crab steering left, crab steering right. All wheel steering or front wheel steering. So we'll just, for the sake of demonstrations, we'll head off out here. So at the moment we're in front wheel steering only. Okay. If I control Y, crab steering, you notice we're crab steering. Okay. So control Y, crab steering off to the right. And then if I do all wheel steering, you can see we've got nice tight turning circles with our all wheel steering. Lovely. Okay. Right. So now we're going inside the cab. This is where some of you that like a bit of immersion might like this a lot. So, we have many, many options, and I apologise, my course play is going to pop up here. I should have turned it off before. Okay. So, we can open the door. We can do the steering wheel. We can lower the sun visor. Turn on and off the radio. We can turn on and off the air conditioning. There is no sunroof. That's okay. We can turn on our computer. We can then turn on a Oh, so what? That's the Amazon, I think it is, or is it John Deere? Anyway, control panel, chrome control panel, and a horse control panel. We can open the right hand door. Uh, this one here is fold front hydraulic, which we'll have a look at in a second. This one here is change the menu. We're just not doing. I have to turn the engine on so I can change the menu. Okay, now you will notice the dials work on that, which is fantastic. Well, it's not dials, is it? It's the screen. Anyway, turn that off again. Come around through here. What have we got over here? This one here is add weight. So we add some concrete bricks to the back. So if I just hop out for a second, there we are. For the concrete weights. Okay, what else we got? Okay, this one here, replacement rims hub. So at the moment, if you have a look at the rims, we've just got some stock standard rims. If I click on this and I go back out, don't have to change. Mm, it's more obvious on the other version anyway. That should change your rims. Down the front here, we can take off our mud guards and add them back again. We also got the air pressure valves, so we can add the air pressure valve. So if we came out here now, you can see the air pressure valves are there. Although that one's rendered with the twin tyres not very well because it goes through the tyre. Anyway, and what else we got? That's pretty much it. Oh, actually, no, here we go. So, to open up our mask, here's that one there, which we just saw. Open and close. And this one here will have to be really quick. This is uh, raises and lowers the front hydraulic. So, we'll do that. Come back out. And there we go. It's lowering the front hydraulic clamps. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Lights. All the lights, as you can see here, the dash lights up, come out, 
and our lights are on. Okay. All in all, this is a lovely unit. I love driving it. It's obviously got the grunt to pull some of the biggest biggest equipment. Uh, it's not quite as big as a big bud in its basic configurations, uh, but using the 5,000 chip engine, you can still get the 600 horsepower and pull some of the biggest equipment around without a problem. Okay. Now, the one other thing I was going to show you is the reverse drive control. So, we hop back in. Actually, sorry, I'll go over here. So. Let's bring him out. We want to do reverse drive control. We do control B. Now, I hop out of the cab to see it. So what happens is our cab will raise, rotate, and come back down. Now we have a not so pretty looking class 5000 in reverse drive control. So it also reverses the control. So I'm pressing forward, I'm going forward. I'm pressing back, I'm going back. Okay. But that's uh, a very good mod in total, I believe. This, uh, as I said before, it's now become my favourite tractor, this particular version, for the bigger stuff. So I hope you enjoy the review of the Class Axiom 800 and 900 series tractors, which are available on the in-game mod hub or the Giants mod hub. The Class Xerion 5000 is available on a couple of different mod websites. But again, these are mod websites that I don't regard as safe and those members of uh, 3 ds Gaming Network and PCSG don't necessarily regard them as safe. So if you wish to get this mod and download it, then please go search for it. The class Xerion 4000 to 5000 by Extreme BB Mods. But be aware, download it at your own risk. Make sure you're running your antivirus and all that sort of stuff. Fantastic tractors, fantastic mods. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. So now we'll give our scoring for the class mods that we've just reviewed. So for the class Axion 800, I give this seven quackers. Great mod, looks good. All the most basic features are there and looks the part anywhere you want to use it. Fantastic little mod. The class Axion 900, similarly, I'm going to give seven quackers. Again, it's a great tractor, as good as any others you can get for these ranges and these, these sizes and power, so I strongly recommend both of these tractors. The class Xerion 4000 to 5000 series, due to its build quality, its features, its functionality, drive control features which are fantastic. This one has been given a 9 Quackers rating. I love it. Great mod. Thoroughly recommend it. But uh, again, just be aware of where you're downloading it from. So I hope you've enjoyed the mod. If you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe. Please leave your comments down below. If you have any feedback in relation to these tractors or other tractors, or if you have any mods you would like me to review, then please let me know via the comments down below. If you have another tractor that's your favourite, then again, similarly, let me know what it is, and I'll look at doing a review of that in uh, my style, and uh, give it a rating, and we'll see where we go from there. I would like to thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.